it's a winter wonderland here in Boulder, Colorado, as two teams are looking for their first conference win of the year as the California Golden Bears head on the road to take on the Colorado Buffaloes. And good afternoon to everyone. Justin Adams here with you. Thank you so much, as always, for joining us. We have two teams looking for their first conference win of the year, and let's start with the Cal Golden Bears. They lost 14-9 in a tough game against Oregon and really had an opportunity to win that one, just couldn't get the lead in that ball game. And on the other side, you look at the Colorado Buffaloes. They lost a tough one against Stanford. They were up 9-7 to with five minutes to go and ended up losing that game 10-9 to in overtime. One player for the Buffs that's looking to get them right back on track is is the senior Sadie Grozier. She has 14 goals on the year, four assists, 18 points, which is good for fifth in the Pac-12. She has one goal and one assist against Stanford, and her head coach says that Sadie is very aggressive, and she needs to do so today against the California Golden Bears. And speaking of aggressive, how about Quinlan Mason, the junior? She has 14 goals, three assists, and 17 points on the year. She has one assist against Oregon and no goals, and that's important because that snapped an 11-game streak of her having multiple goals in a game. Should be a fun one to see if Mason and Quinlan Mason can get things going as well as Sadie Grozier here in Boulder, Colorado as the Colorado Buffaloes take on the California Golden Bears. Coming up next, the opening draw right here on the Pac-12 Network. Pac-12's women's lacrosse is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Here at Kitchers Field in Boulder, Colorado. Colorado Buffaloes taking on the Cal Golden Bears. And this has been a series that has been lopsided the way of the Buffaloes. Colorado Buffaloes have won six straight over the California Golden Bears. The last time California has beaten the Buffs. Got to go all the way back to 2015. And the last time that Cal beat the Buffs here in Boulder, got to go back to the first year that the Buffs were in existence. Their program was in existence. That's back in 2014 as we take a look at both teams getting ready to play. Both trying to get off the snide as well. Golden Bears have lost three in a row, and the Buffs lost their last one against Stanford. Let's take a look at the goalkeepers for today. It will start off with Riley Drellinger and She's a sophomore, had 59 saves this season. That's second best in the Pac-12. She also had 10 saves in the game against Oregon. On the opposite end, let's go look at the Colorado Buffaloes. And as we have Riley Drullinger, and let's go look at Lacella. I tell you what, Julia Lacella, the senior, she has done a fantastic job this year. This is her sixth season with the Buffs as well. She has a two and three record, 8.90 goals against average. And done a fantastic job leading the Pac-12 with a 550 saves percentage. So meeting off at the center circle. And getting ready to go, Katie Burnside for the Buffs. And on the opposite end, Kaya Evans. Evans a junior. Yeah, Kaya! As you get the draw ready to roll here in Boulder, Colorado, as always, thank you so much for joining us on the Pac-12 Network. Should be a fun one today between two teams looking to get their first conference win of the year. As we're looking for the whistle to blow. And here we go. And we have a whistle. It looks like we're going to do it all over again. I guess it's what I love the most. You have all that anticipation, right? You waited all day to get the game started. Only have to do this all over again at the center circle. <laughs> Opening draw between Evans and Burnside. Kate Burnside has 21 draw controls. That's fourth in the Pac-12. Look if she can get another one. And it will be scooped up. First possession as both teams are fighting after it. And it's scooped up by the Golden Bears. They'll get the first crack at it here at Kittredge Field. 30 minute halves we play here. Golden Bears, one of the big things they have to do today is really focus on their scoring. They have been outscored in the first half, 53 to 32 all year. They'll try to get on the board first. Did so against Oregon, just weren't able to hold on to that lead. Lost that game 14 to nine. It's a nice shot behind the back. That one doesn't go. It's a nice save by LaCella. 
Shot by Niki Zaccaro. And Lasella, she'll get the rock. And she'll toss it ahead. Let's take another look at that last shot. You see Lasella just stole the ball right behind her, right there. Check that out, Zaccaro and Lasella right there to be able to stop that one. 60 seconds on the shot clock. The ball now on the right side, now going behind the cage. Buffs looking to get on board. We're still scoreless here in Boulder, Colorado. First possession of the day for the Buffs. There's Charlie Rudy. She had three goals and two assists against Stanford. Sadie Grozier gives it off. 34 seconds on the shot clock. Got to make a move. There's Willard. Hands it off. And great defense. And what do we have? Looks like we're going to have a free position shot on the foul. So setting up for the free possession shot as we take a look at the head coach for the Buffs, that's Ann Elliott. And here we go, Liz Phillips with the shot. That doesn't go in, but the Buffs do get the ball right back and the shot clock will reset. Looking at the defense, looks to be a zone defense being played by Cal. Rudy with a nice dodge. Moving through, trying to find some hole. And the ball's thrown up front, and it's on the ground. Who's going to scoop it up? And the Buffs will be able to scoop that one back up. 60 seconds on the shot clock, just getting started here in Boulder, Colorado. Willard. Gives it back off to Grozier. Sadie Grozier with a nice dodge. Getting double team, gives it right behind the cage. Oh, but it's knocked down. Great job by Drullinger. And the possession will go the way of the Cal Golden Bears. Nice job defensively by the Golden Bears to be able to get the stop there. As we take another look at Ann Elliott. On the year, this is our eighth season on the job. 81 and 42 record with the Buffs. How about this, she's 43 and 14 in conference play. Done a fantastic job with this program here in Boulder. Coming to the attack zone now are the Cal Golden Bears. As the Buffs look to be in a man-to-man -man defense. Nice move by Megan Mix, and we're gonna have a foul. And actually, there's gonna be a change of possession as we take a look at Brooke Eubanks. In her seventh season with the Cal Golden Bears, she comes in with a 28 and 59 record, nine and 33 in the Pac-12. She was raised in Inglewood, Colorado. As the Buffs take possession, was still scoreless, the second possession of the day for CU. Both teams have had two possessions, no score so far. Ball now in the offensive zone. And Grozier gives it right back off. Nice move on the outside, ball throw behind the cage. Buffs looking to get a point on the board. Can they do so? No shooting angle there for Rudy. Has to give it right back out. Swings the rock around to Willard. 40 seconds on the shot clock. Great defense by the Golden Bears. Moving around, that's Grozier. She loses the handle. Scooped up and oh, going to the ground pretty hard. What do we have? That's gonna be a foul. As Ashley Stokes goes to the, the ground. Now the Buffs have it. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Making a move is Willer. Nice defense yet again by the Golden Bears. Just can't find a place to get an angle to get a shot. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Gotta get a shot going right here. Moving behind the cage, eight seconds, seven seconds. Time running out, Willard has it on the right side. Can she get a shot? Two seconds, one second, she won't get a shot on goal. And we'll have a shot clock violation. Let's take another look at the foul just a couple of moments ago. As both players are going after the ball and just getting tripped up. That's Ashley Stokes. The midi, she has four goals on the year. Third possession for the Cal Golden Bears. We are scoreless five minutes into the first half. And we have a whistle. And the Golden Bears have it. 
Smith hands the rock off, gives it to Rosas. Behind the cage, 60 seconds on the shot clock. Buffs playing great defense so far. Both teams really strong defensively. Very hard to get the rock through. There's only been two shots in this game and both shots have been by Cal. They might have another opportunity right here. Try to get the ball inside the fan, not able to do so, and I have to go and swing the ball right back out. 35 seconds on the shot clock. Now at 30. Good defense being applied by the Buffs. We get around, a shot, and a great save there by Julia Lacella. Catherine Rojas with the shot there, the third shot of the day for the Golden Bears. We still are scoreless. Buffs were, were up nine to seven on Stanford on Saturday. Looked like they had a chance to win that one. They were actually up nine to eight with a minute to go, looking to run out the clock, lost the handle of the ball, turn it over. Stanford got the rock and immediately scored, tied it up at nine apiece. And in overtime, the Buffs lost that one, 10 to nine. It's the second loss this year for the Buffs in overtime. As we get a whistle, and we'll get a foul. And we're going to get a free possession shot. Willard, the junior, she has two goals on a year, three assists as well. She'll take it from the far left hash, and she'll take the ball right out. <laughs> 40 seconds on the shot clock. Buffs looking for the first shot of the day. Will it be a tally? The shot is good. Devon Bayer, the junior. She had one goal against Stanford. She now has back-to-back -back games with a goal as well as she gets that one. And the Buffs are on the board. Up against Cal, score one to nothing. Let's take another look at this one. And just great job by the Buffs to move the ball around. And Bayer able with the ground shot to get that one to go right by Drellinger. Buffalo goal 23-13 of the first half. So as Devin dash one to go, assist by Sadie Grozier. And for Sadie, that's her fifth assist of the year. So Devin with her fifth goal of the season as well, the midi. Getting the buffs on the board first. One of the things that Cal was looking to do in this game where they were just looking to just keep things going. Talking with Brooke, Brooke used Eubanks before the game. She talked about the importance of getting on the board first, but continuing to fight as well on a three-game losing streak. As we meet back at the center circle. And the draw between Evans and Burnside. And here we go. And the draw will be won by the Buffs. And it's all important to make sure that you have the possession as the ball is knocked down. But the foul is on the Golden Bears. The Buffs will have the possession. One to nothing's our score. Two, 22 minutes to go in half number one. And that was knocked down. Buffs able to scoop that one up. And the ground ball actually goes in the hands of the Golden Bears. So great job by Cal to get to the ball. And they also get the possession as well. And that's going to be a foul as well. And the Bears still have the rock. Another possession for Cal. They've been able to get a couple of shots. They haven't been able to get through. They have three shots on the day. No score so far. Ball behind the cage. Now up top. Golden Bears looking to end a six game losing streak to the Colorado Buffaloes. Haven't beaten the Buffs since 2015. Forty seconds on the shot clock. Ball up on the inside. The shot is, oh, it hits the post. That would hit the post. 
Almost looked like it was going to get in. Quinlan Mason had a point blank shot, couldn't get that one to go. Here comes the buffs the other way in transition. The shot, the pass rather, goes right to the hands. A nice pass. The shot is oh blocked away. Nice job by Drullinger. Let's take another look at the shot for Cal and Mason was right there and just hit the post. Got a right past Julia Lasella. Just couldn't get that one fall. And for Mason, that would have been her 15th goal of the year. And also would have tied this one up at one apiece. Buffs still lead, one to nothing. Evans takes the ball into the buff zone. And now the ball is knocked away, but Evans able to scoop that one back up. And now the Golden Bears will set up their offense with 50 seconds to go on the shot clock. Golden Bears coming to this game one in five, three losses on the year. Last game they lost 14 to nine against Oregon. They scored first in that game and then were down three to one. As a shot is up and good. What a rope. And that's Nikki Zaccaro, the senior from Newtown, Connecticut. And she ties this one up at one apiece. What a rope. Zaccaro had three goals and two assists against Oregon. And she keeps that scoring streak going with a nice goal right there. Goal Her ninth goal. goal of the year. 2038 remaining in the first half, unassisted number one, Nikki. And that one's going to be unassisted as well. Let's take another look as Nikki Zaccaro has that. And she just loads up and ropes that one. And Julia Lasella couldn't stop it. So we're tied up at one apiece. And for Cal, that's their fourth shot. And then finally, we're able to get one through. Again, this is, a team, this is a game between two teams looking to get their first conference win of the year. For the Cal Golden Bears, it's been a while since they won a game actually in conference play. You got to go all the way back to the first round of the Pac-12 tournament back in 2019. That was the last time they had a conference win. That's when they beat Arizona State 12 to eight. Colorado Buffaloes last year, they won their only conference game of the year before the season was canceled due to COVID. I'll tell you what, both teams agree, it's so great to be able to be back on the field again, able to play some lacrosse. Buffs looking to even up their record at three apiece. As both Evans as well as Burnside Looking to win the draw. Is the referee looking to place the ball right there? And let's see if we, <laughs> right in the middle. All right, now the ball's played and we're ready to go. And the draw's gonna be won by the Golden Bears. They get another possession, looking to go up two to one. As Zakara, as another high right side, now throws the ball behind the cage. Kubera being guarded very closely. And throws it off to the top and the Golden Bears will start their offense. One thing I've realized about the Golden Bears offense is they're just trying to throw around the perimeter and find somebody to cut through the arc. And that's what they do right here. The shot by Mason doesn't go just wide of the cage to the right. 10 minutes in the half, number one, tied up at one apiece. Kubera, now behind the cage. And again, the perimeter play of Cal. Nice dodge there by Mix. Shoots, and is that in? Yes, it is. Megan Mix from Owings Mill, Maryland gets her 10th goal of the year. And the Cal Golden Bears have taken the lead as they're up two to one on the Colorado Buffaloes. And just take a look at Mix, what she does, a nice dodge, goes to her right, finds an opening, and gets it right under the stick of Lacella. Nice ground shot there as well. Lacella, not much you could do with that one. And we take a look at Brooke Eubanks. 
And Coach Eubanks, the biggest thing that she talked about this year was, again, just her, wanting her team to fight. She actually this year, this week, in practice, had the freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, each class do a drill that they love. She wanted to bring back the love of the game. And that's one thing that she wanted to do this week in practice. Just kind of felt that her team was a little restless, wanted to bring back that love. And it looks like it's paying off here so far at Kittredge Field. Bears up two to one over the Buffs. As we set up for the draw at center circle. Whistle blows and here we go. As the Golden Bears are going to get another possession. Buffs haven't had a possession in a while. Let's see if Cal can take full advantage of this one. And they're going to back things out as well. Kubera tosses it around. There's Zakaro. Zakaro is senior. She attended a Sundance Film Festival. She loves to attend the Sundance Film Festival and has done so every year since 2008. Definitely a movie buff right there. Has it behind the cage. Now toss it to the high left side. Gives over to Mason. Mason with a nice dodge. Being guarded very closely. Buffs trying to pack in the defense and it works right there. As Lacella able to get that one and the Buffs have possession. First time in two trips they finally get the ball. And they have it down two to one. Ball goes into the restricted circle and here comes the the restricted area, here comes the buffs. Ball goes behind the cage. Moving around, see what you can do with this one. Here's Rudy, shoots it. Doesn't get that one to go, but the bus will retain possession. 55 seconds to go on the shot clock. Cal really pack into the defense. Buffs trying to just get the ball into the Eight meter arc. They're able to do so right now is they have to able to do so right now is they have to keep the ball around the perimeter. Talked with a couple of coaches about the buffs and talked about what is their type of game? What do they like to play? They like to throw the ball around the perimeter. And that's a nice play there by Cal to pick that one off. Great job by Capania. And here comes the Golden Bears. They're in transition. And they're making a move, circle it around. Now behind the cage. Zaccaro. Up to the top to Mason. And you just see what the Cal Golden Bears are doing. They're just moving the ball around the perimeter. Really creating spacing, also creating some shot angles as well. And when you space out the defense, it gives you an opportunity to make moves. That's nice defense by the Buffs, and that's going to be scooped up on a ground ball in the Buffs' half possession. And the Buffs down two to one. Having a tough time getting the ball across midfield, and they finally do. And we have a whistle. And what are we going to have? We have a yellow card. Yellow! And looks to be a penalty on the Golden Bears, a yellow card. Let's see if that was a hit on the spear. Let's see if we can find it here. As we take another look. And nope, you can't make any contact to the head or neck area. Yellow card is set. So that'll be a yellow card. And Megan Mix, she scored the goal to give the Golden Bears a two to one lead. But now she'll have to go to the bench for two minutes. So the Buffs will have the one man advantage to see if they can take advantage. Pass the ball around the arc. Going around the perimeter. Just looking for an open shot. You see the Golden Bears just packing things in. It's hard to get a shot when everything's packed in. Trying to make a move. Not able to find anything as of yet though. Behind the cage, a shot, and that one is, is it good? It is good. So the Buffs with the player advantage 
able to tie things up as they get through the very tough defense of the Cal Golden Bears, and they tie this one up at two apiece. Let's go and take another look at this one. And again, for the Buffs, it's all about passing around the perimeter, but sometimes you got to do it all by your lonesome. And that's exactly what Zoe Lawless did right there. Zoe Lawless, a senior from Elmhurst, Illinois. And for Lawless, that's her ninth goal of the year. They came at a big time for the Buffs. They tied this one at two apiece with 16.09 to go in the first half. So we're right back to even. And for the Buffs, that's their third goal of the year with the man up opportunity. And they also get the possession as well. Off the draw. Here comes CU. Taylor Smith, the midi. And the Buffs now have it. 75 seconds on the shot clock. CU loves to play around the perimeter. Trying to find their shot. Make their move as well. Here's Rudy. And we have a whistle. And we may have a free possession shot on the foul. Charlie Rudy, Jr. She scored a goal in 10 straight games. She sets up on a hash. Now she shoots this one. Oh, what a nice block. A wonderful save by Riley Drullinger. But the bus will hold on to possession. But a nice play by Drullinger. Boss being swung around. But the game tied up at two apiece. Lovely dodge, and the ball gets knocked away. It's on the turf. Who's going to pick it up? There goes the Buffs with it. That's Rudy, and she'll take it out and restart the offense yet again. The one thing is so tough to do against this Golden Bears defense is take the ball inside. Grozier, she's turned away, swings the rock around. Nice pass behind the cage. 45 seconds on the shot clock. And an errant pass on the turf, scooped up though by the Buffs. 35 seconds on the shot clock. Grozier with a move, goes to her right, now spins around, good defense, a nice pass, the shot is up and good. Beautiful pass by Sadie Grozier to a cutting Charlie Rudy.
goals. You had the penalty by Megan Mix. The Buffs were able to score with a one with the man up advantage. And then from there, right off the draw, didn't get possession. Buffs were able to get that one and able to take the lead on the score by Rudy. So the timeout's over. Three to two is our score. 14 22 to go in half number one. Getting ready for the draw. And again, it's Evans and Burnside. And possessions are so important in lacrosse. You always want to get as many possessions as possible. As the whistle blows, it, here we go. And possession is going to go the way of the Golden Bears. And they immediately want to run as Evans, the ball goes on the ground able to be scooped up by the Golden Bears, and they'll go into their offense. Looking to get the equalizer right here. Mason, behind the cage, is Akara. 14 minutes to go in half number one. Kubera had a shot on goal. Not able to get a goal as of yet, though. Behind the cage, it's Akara. She scored the first goal of the game. Now a nice move up top, trying to find a bed. Look at the bus. Tough defense now goes to the left side, behind the cage. Trying to move the ball around. There's a dodge. 40 seconds to go in the shot clock. Mason thought she had a lane, couldn't get that one to go. Decided to go back and throw the ball behind the cage. Great defense by the Buffs yet again. Spinning around, shoots that one, and did that go? It went! What a shot! The ground shot by Olivia Day. How did she get that one in? I have no idea, but that one hit the back of the net. And on a wonderful shot by Olivia Day, we're tied up at three apiece. And this replay is brought to you by our State Farm Showcase. And I tell you what, take a look at this goal yet again by Olivia Day. She's going to just nice, just defending nice. It just spins around and somehow able to get that in. I don't know if she even saw the cage. Let's take one more look at this. I don't think Day saw the cage and was able to get that one in. She spun around. And that ground shot was able to find the back of the net. What a goal by Olivia Day. So our score tied at three apiece. And for Day, that's her fifth goal of the year. Pretty entertaining game we have here at Kittredge Field in Boulder, Colorado. Golden Bears going up against the Buffs. Both teams looking for their first conference win of the year. As the whistle blows for the draw, see if the Buffs can get possession or if the Bears will get in. The Bears once again will get possession. And here they go, ready to attack on the left side. Spinning around, gives it to Zaccaro, right behind the net. Mason being guarded very closely, now back to Zaccaro. Bears being very patient with their offense, not trying to force anything. One of the main things that they wanted to do. Zakara behind the cage yet again. Swings it around. Buffs getting spaced out defensively. Looks to be a man-to-man -man defense. 50 seconds on the shot clock. Behind the cage, the Bears. Up top. Again, just being patient, taking their time, making a move. Mason, triple team, and the ball gets knocked away. Great job defensively by the Buffs. And here they come. Cowhill takes it to the offensive zone for the Buffs, swings the rock around. And the ball is passed, and oh, couldn't get that one to connect. 
As that one is going to be, is that going to be a foul? Well, we have. We have a foul, and who's that on? So we have a yellow card trying to see who has the advantage. I believe it's the Golden Bears, and it will be. Eliza Cahill, she'll go and run off. And let's take a look, and right there you see it, the stick hit the head of Lawless, and you can't do that. So for two minutes, the Golden Bears will have the man of advantage with the score tied up at three apiece. And we have a whistle, now what? And the possession will go the way of the Buffs. And starting with it will be Katie White, grad transfer from Dartmouth. Takes it across midfield, looking to waste some time on the player advantage, and the ball's going to be knocked away, and the foul. And the Buffs will keep possession. 1.15 to go with the player advantage. And the Buffs hold on to the ball. They're a man down, and they're just looking to take their time. With the shot clock at 38, they could take this all the way down to 12 seconds for the player advantage for Cal. Sicaro swings the rock around. Ten seconds. Rudy with the shot, and she gets it to go. Charlie Rudy with her second tally of the day. We have a yellow card. <laughs> So the Buffs will get the lead. And both teams will be down a man. As Kelly McIntyre, she'll run off. But before then, let's take a look at the goal. And what a fabulous goal right here on the ground shot by Rudy, her second of the day. And on the shot, you saw she took a shot to the face. If we can get one more look, you can clearly see the shot. As the Buffs now lead four to three. Take a look at slow motion. Look at this. Right there on the shot, Rudy gets hit right in the face. And able to get that shot to go to the back of the net. So Lawless will go and have to sit for two minutes. And so the Buffs, they have the lead. And in about 20 seconds, they also have the man advantage as well. Ball goes to the offensive zone. The bus will take their time as it's four on four play for about another 10 seconds. And the bus now on the man advantage. 9.41 to go in the first half. And the ball is going to be lost. Can the Buffs scoop it up? Oh, no. And here comes the Golden Bears with that one. Tough pass. And the Golden Bears able to get possession. Let's see if they can go and get a goal. Down a man. Just like the Buffs did a couple moments ago. Nice defense by the bus, but here come the Golden Bears as they finally get past the restraining line. We have a whistle. Three, three, 
Looks like we have a foul. And the Golden Bears will keep possession. Four to three is our score. Bust with the player advantage for the next 40 seconds. But the Golden Bears could just hold on to the ball and wait for that to expire and still have about 30 seconds. On the even attack. And that's exactly what Mesa's gonna do. She's just gonna hold on to the ball. No one from the Buffs is going after her. It might be a wise move right there not to do so as well. As you look at the shots, nine to eight in favor of the Golden Bears. One of the things they wanted to do was to be able to get as many shots as possible on net. And now the penalty is over and we're playing at even strength. 40 seconds on a shot clock. Zaccaro on the left side. Being guarded, swings around, goes behind the cage in the pass, almost missed by Kubera. And now that one's missed by Mason. And it'll go out of bounds and the Buffs will take over. Tough possession for the Golden Bears that were able to at least expire or kill off the man down pull off the penalty. But here come the Buffs with the ball, up one, four to three. Behind the cage, swings the rock around. 70 seconds on the shot clock. Both teams looking for their first conference win of the year. Approaching seven minutes to go in half number one. Rudy swinging the ball behind the cage. A nice pass up front. The shot is going to be blocked away. Shot by Lawless. She had point blank range. Couldn't get that one to go. Buffs still have possession. And they have a new shot clock as well. Now swinging around the arc. Attacking. And losing the handle is Grozier. And here come the Golden Bears down one. Smith swings it around. Buffs get back defensively. And the Golden Bears will start their offense. Six minutes to go in half number one. Shots nine to eight in favor of the Golden Bears. Bears were able to get on the scoreboard first. It's been a back and forth battle ever since. And we have a whistle. And we'll have a foul. We're also gonna have a free possession shot. Megan Mix will look to get her second goal of the day. She'll shut up on the arc. Right on the hash. she do two things here. She can either pass or she can go for the goal. We'll see what she'll do right here. Whistle blows and she's gonna pass it out immediately. 43 seconds on the shot clock. Nice move, Mason. Double team, swings the rock around. Behind the cage. Bears have scored two goals today, and that's going to be thrown away. Nice job defensively by the Buffs. Lacella gives it up to the Buffs, take it across midfield. Five minutes to go in half number one. Four to three to score. Buffs scored three out of the last four goals, and they still hold on to possession. Good job defensively by the Bears. And now, try to force that one in. We have a shot, and that looks to be good. It is good. Ashley Stokes able to get right in front of the net and gets that one to fall with a ground shot and a Buffs lead, five to three over Cal.
take another look at this one. And the Bears play good defense, but nice job using the strength. The freshman, Ashley Stokes, unassisted, able to get that one to go. 451 remaining in the first game. So with 451 remaining, the Buffs have the five to three lead. That's for Stokes, her second goal of the day. Six of the season as well. One change that's happened in this game has been a little bit of sloppy passing by the Golden Bears. They had possession, not able to connect with the pass. The Buffs were able to scoop that one up, take it to their own end. And that's where Stokes was able to get the goal. One thing that's very important for a CU, talking with Coach Ann Elliott, is about making sure that it's more than just Rudy and Grozier getting the scores. Everybody has to contribute, and that's one of the things she talked about. She knew that this game was going to be a battle, and she wanted the team to overall buy in on this one. She said you can't be watching hockey or watching lacrosse, rather. Everybody has to go and contribute in this game. as the draw and possession will go the way of the Golden Bears. So now they'll have a possession down by two. And they would like to get a goal here. Last game they were down three goals. They were down seven to four against Oregon. Here's Mason. Mix. Carter very closely, nice dodge. Can she get a shot? Oh, it's deflected. And Lacella, will she be able to get to that one? And she does, great job by Julia Lacella. The shot was deflected. Lacella was able to get to the ball as it went out of bounds. And if you're the closest one there, you get possession and the Buffs have possession up five to three. Buffs behind the cage, looking to get a three goal advantage over the Golden Bears. Trying to be patient offensively. Rudy to her left, shoots that one and gets it to go. Charlie Rudy, yet again, this time from the left side. Able to get that in, and the Buffs have a three goal advantage over the Cal Golden Bears. Unassisted Buffalo goal, 3.20 remaining in the first half. With 3.20 to go, Rudy, Rudy, take Rudy, another look at Charlie Rudy, and that's just a sniper, good gracious. She pumped fake once and was able to get that one by the stick of Drullinger. And that's the third goal of the day for Rudy as well. So she got the hat trick, 19th goal of the season as well. So she takes the team lead in that category. Charlie Rudy, a junior from California. As you see some of the parents able to watch games here in Boulder, Colorado. And they're enjoying the game so far. Let's see if the Golden Bears can go and get back on the scoreboard with 3.20 to go in the first half. Very important for them to get possession, but not only get possession, but to get some quality shots. Haven't had one in a while. It all starts here at the center circle. Let's see if they can win the draw. And we have a whistle. And it looks like we're going to do this all over again, or what are we going to do? Possession. Looks to be a push, so the possession will go the way of the Buffs. So now with the Golden Bears won it down by three, the Buffaloes on a three to nothing run. They look to go up four in this possession on a chilly day here in Boulder, Colorado. Cahill. 
Gives the ball up into the hands of Stokes. She already has two goals today, has six on the season. And behind the cage, looking for the hat trick as well. A nice pass, the shot, oh, it's deflected away. And the Bubs still have possession behind the cage. Make it a move. And we'll have a foul and a free position shot for the Buffs. Bayer sets up on the hash. Has a couple of options here, what she wants to do. She could pass it and she'll do so. And the Buffs will start their offense yet again. The Golden Bears early on in this game, they were able to pack things in defensively, made it very tough for the Buffs to be able to score. But the Buffs able to move the ball around, have several unassisted goals. But able to get some goals, and one person who's able to do that right now is the one with the ball and the shot, and that's in. And guess who? Charlie Rudy for the fourth time today. She gets a tally and also puts up the Buffs up four as they lead seven to three over the Cal Golden Bears. Have yourself a day here, Charlie Rudy. Let's take another look. You just see Rudy with a nice dodge, spinning around. Finding a shot angle and able to get that one to go to the left side of the net. And another unassisted goal for the Buffs. That's Rudy's 20th goal this year, fourth of the day. We still have one more half to play here in Polder, Colorado. Golden Bears desperately need a point here. Down seven to three, four to nothing run. It all starts with winning the draw here. Win the draw, get you a possession, take your time, get some nice crisp passing, and get the score. And if you're the Golden Bears, you wanna take any type of momentum that you can get. Coming into this game on a three game losing streak, Need whatever momentum you can get right here. And it's going to be kicked around and scooped up by the Golden Bears. So that's one thing you can do here. Capania. Here goes the Golden Bears. Take it to the restricted area. And that one's going to go out of bounds as they try to go with the restraining line. Couldn't get that one to go. And here comes the Buffs with the ball. And the clock's go to run, and they could literally hold on to the ball for the last shot of the half. Already leading seven to three. Cahill will take it in. And she looks like she wants to go and score. And she'll take the ball behind the cage. Minutes ago here in half number one. Charlie with the, sh nope, now with the shot, throws it behind the cage, and the shot's up and good. <laughs> Said earlier that Stokes had two goals. She only had one. That officially is her second goal of the day, and the Buffs are up large, eight to three over the Golden Bears. Take another look at this one. It all starts with a pass it behind the cage. And looked to be a jump shot at first. Didn't find the angle that she wanted. And when Stokes landed on her feet, she found what she was looking for, was able to get it past Drillinger. 59 seconds remaining in the first half. Buffalo gold, number nine, unassisted. Actually, Stokes. Stokes, 59 seconds remaining. So for Stokes, her second goal of the day, she has six on the year. Buffs lead eight to three on a frigid afternoon in Boulder, Colorado. Yet again for the Golden Bears, it's all about winning the possession. Get a good possession, you have 59 seconds left. Try to get any time momentum as you can and they're not able to win this possession. Kate Burnside 
able to get the draw control. And she'll take it into the offensive zone. See if the bus will look to hold on for the final shot of the half with 40 seconds to go. And then it's going to an attack. Rudy does so and scores again. Charlie Rudy for the fifth time today. Gets that one to go and the Buffs running away here as they now lead nine to three over the Golden Bears. Unassisted Buffalo goal, 34 seconds remaining in the half. You get it again, number one, Charlie Rudy. Charlie Rudy remaining in the half. on the left side. And it's just tough to guard her. A nice dodge and a ground shot, able to get that one to fall. Rudy just scooping that one under the stick and the feet of Drellinger. Five goals, her 21st of the season. I'll tell you what, whatever Charlie Rudy ate for breakfast, make sure she gets it before every game. Five goals in this one. Same story for the Golden Bears, though. You just want to get some momentum on a six, on the wrong side of a six to nothing run. You just got to get some, some uh, sort of momentum as you get ready to go in the second half. They haven't been able to get possessions, haven't been able to win the draw. So they haven't been able to put any pressure on the Buffs. And they will finally win possession here, but the ball goes out and the Buffs will scoop it right back up. And here comes CU with 20 seconds to go on the clock before the end of the half. Cahill. Swings the rock around. 15 seconds to go. Buffs looking to make a move. Nice dodge. Six seconds, five seconds, got to get a shot. Nice pass, the shot is, oh, blocked away. And that's the way the half will end. Nice stop by Riley Drullinger to get the save and prevent the bus from scoring another one. But after one half of play, it's all about number one as Charlie Rudy has five goals in the first half. The Buffs on a six to nothing run as they lead nine to three as we go to the break. We'll be right back on the Pac-12 Network. Halftime in Boulder, Colorado, as the Colorado Buffaloes lead 9-3 over the California Golden Bears on a 6 to nothing run. Well, one of the Buffs has actually had a great story of perseverance, and here's the story of Annie Williams. On and off, I just started feeling pretty sick, and after like three or four days of that going on, I had my roommate Devin take me to the hospital. I kind of just thought maybe I had like the flu or something, but as time went on, it got like harder to breathe, harder to walk, and then I got transported to CU Health. All things kind of started to crash, and then things progressively got worse and worse. And they said it was cryptogenic organizing pneumonia, and I had heart and lung failure, and I was put in a coma. I was on life support for three weeks. After about like a week and a half, somehow I just miraculously started getting better and better. I had to relearn how to walk and relearn how to eat and chew. I went home and started going to PT and my high school coach, Meredith Frank, let me help coach my high school teams. Being in the lacrosse community and getting up every day and doing something productive, I think that that really helped me get back on track, especially coming back here. such an incredible person and member of our program that when she got sick it was really hard for us to just see how strong she was for all of our players that are 18 to 22 you can get caught up in a lot of things and to just see someone like her and what she's gone through and how committed she's remained to our program it's really incredible and it reminds you there are bigger things in life going on and that we're so fortunate for the opportunities we have every day to be together from the minute i woke up and was there that was always on my mind going back to play lacrosse and i think if i didn't have that 
that I still could be back at square one, but since that's been in my mind and that's been pushing me towards my goals of getting better and stronger, I think that it means everything to me. Great to see Annie Williams back on the field, playing a game that she loves as well. As she's just all excited and so are the Buffs. They're up nine to three. We'll continue on at halftime here in Boulder, Colorado. Nine to three is our score here in Boulder, Colorado, as the Buffs looking for their first conference win of the year, and they're well on their way, up six over the Golden Bears. Let's take a look at some of the first. So she did a fantastic job of scoring all on her lonesome. Let's see if she can continue things on in half number two as we come back to Boulder, Colorado. Buffs up six. Pac-12 Women's Lacrosse is brought to you by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. The score was tied up at 3-3 with about 10 minutes to go. Then the Buffs went on a 6 to nothing run as they lead 9-3 to over the California Golden Bears. Let's take a look at some of the first half statistics. Buffs out shooting the Bears. Golden Bears by 6. They have doubled up the shots on goal in the Golden Bears and draw controls actually have been won by the California Golden Bears but the issue is the turnovers they have six turnovers the Buffs have seven and it's also just the crisp passing as well the Golden Bears they've had their opportunities they just haven't been able to connect as well on all those shots so we'll see what they will do in half number two as both of these teams looking to get their first conference win of the year and if you're the Golden Bears the key to this game well you got to stop this one right here Charlie Rudy has five goals in the first half so as we go to half number two I would imagine that coach Brooke Eubanks her message is this wherever number one goes you go defensively the message also should be hey let's go win these draws as well Kate Burnside, as well as Kaya Evans, setting up at the center circle. Golden Bears lost three in a row, looking for their first win in conference play. As the draw and possession goes the way of the Buffs. And for Burnside, another draw control. One big thing for the bus was to get possession and keep the pressure on, and that's what they want to do in half number two. You're looking to any keys for the buffs continue to work behind the cage. Rudy, foot five goals in this one. You know, it's amazing. We came into this game, and Sadie Grozier was the one that we profiled. And it's all about Rudy. Balls, take it in. Nice pass behind the cage, and a shot is good. Beautiful pass yet again by the Buffs. This time the pass by Willard, able to connect with Stokes. And for Stokes, she now has a hat trick. Now let's take another look as Willard goes right into the meat of the defense, able to go right into the corner. And that's a tough one for anyone to stop as that one is good. We also have a change in net as well. And that's Lily Rathburn that's now in. She's playing two games this season. She has allowed now six goals this year. And she has three saves on the year. So one of the changes that the Golden Bears have made has been at net. At just 36 seconds in, didn't work out. Talk with Coach Eubanks. She says that Rathbun has a great future. Really likes the way that she competes and the way that she plays. Tough play there for her to stop. Buffs up 10 to 3. As Rudy has accounted for the last eight goals for the Buffs, Rudy and Stokes combined. So it's pretty much the Rudy and Stokes show. So for the Golden Bears, they stopped those two. Unfortunately, they are by seven as Cahill takes the ball into the offensive zone for the Buffs. They continue to apply pressure. 
The most goals the Buffs have scored this year has been 14. They did that two times. And actually, weirdly enough, when they scored 14, they win. Scored 14 against Denver. Won that one 14 to seven. Scored 14 against San Diego State. Won that one 14 to five. Looks like 14 is that magic number. They're up 10 to three. And speaking of magic, the shot is good. And you talking about magic, you're talking about Charlie Rudy, her sixth goal of the afternoon. And it may be cold here in Boulder, but the stick is hot for Rudy as she gets that one to go. Her sixth goal of this game, and she's making it look easy at Kittredge Field. A nice dodge using the pick, and goes to her left, and a nice shot. Gets right past Rathba. Rudy with her sixth goal of the day. And you just see, she's able to use just a little pick there from a teammate, able to get the angle and shot it right to the right side of the net. Six goal of the day. I have a feeling if the score stays this way, this might be the person that we talked to. Sock trick for Rudy. How about that, huh? Six goals on the afternoon for Rudy and the Buffs get another possession. It's been a while since the Golden Bears have had possession of the ball. And every time you find yourself playing on defense, you just wear down the defenders. And it just feels like you're on offense all the time if you're the buffs. And if you're the Golden Bears, you're just trying to find a way how to just get a stop. Stop the bleeding. Man-to-man -man defense being used as the buffs spread out the Golden Bears. Here's Rudy, can she get number seven? Uses the pick, now steps back. Gives it up top, thought about shooting that one. Spinning, oh, missed pass there to Willard and here come the Golden Bears, can they scoop this one up? Nope, the Buffs still have it, nope. And a great job defensively by the Golden Bears to be able to get to that one. Now let's see if they can get some momentum, down by eight. An eight to nothing run by the Buffs. And the pass is an errant one on the ground and it's scooped up by the Buffs and that's really been the story of the day for the Golden Bears. As we'll have a foul and the ball will go the way of the Buffaloes. Buffs on an eight to nothing run. And they have it and we have a whistle. And it's a foul and the Buffs will still have it. 27 minutes to go. Just three minutes into half number two. Buffs up 11 to three. Cal led this one early. They got the score started off of one by Sakara. We're able to take a, a three to two lead. Buffs were able to tie things up. And ever since then, it's been all nothing but CU. Really nothing but Charlie Rudy. Ball goes behind the cage. Buffs taking their time with 35 seconds to go on the shot clock. Willard going into the meeting of the defense, the shot, and we'll have a whistle as she goes hard to the ground. And will we have a yellow card? Well, we'll have a foul. Here comes the Buffs with it again. And going down to the ground, the Golden Bears have it. Great job defensively by the Golden Bears, but the ball goes off the stick, and it's going to go out of bounds, and the possession will go to CU. Hey, here come the Buffs in the offensive zone. Looking to put some more points on the board. 11 to three is our score. Rudy with six goals on the day. And she'll hold the ball and wait to set things up offensively. To the left side, making a move, spinning around. Not finding what she wanted. And here comes Rudy yet again. She's going to shoot this one. Oh, what a save. Stop Rudy from getting lucky number seven. A nice save by Lily Rathbun. 
And here come the Golden Bears. They haven't had a shot on net in a long, long time. They could use one right here, down 11 to three. Sakara behind the cage. And the ball goes out of the, the webbing and luckily able to scoop that one up is the Golden Bears. Just not too much confident play so far from the Golden Bears. But things could change quickly here at a game of lacrosse. They're down by eight. But what do you do? You just get one at a time. That's all you got to do. 40 seconds on the shot clock. Mason. She could get this team back into this game all by her lonesome. Nice pass around the perimeter, going around the arc. Now the ball's going to be on the ground, so Carl is able to scoop it up, though. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Now on the right side. Man-to-man -man defense being played by the Buffs as the ball goes behind the cage, swings it around. Nice dodge. And a move behind the cage yet again. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Got to get something on net. 10 seconds now. And right in front of the net, not able to get something to go, but able to get a score. Looks it is one, and it is one. Stopping an 8 0 streak by the Buffs. Catherine able to get that one to go. And you just take a look as the ball goes right behind the cage. The biggest thing is you just want to get something on net, and that's what's able to go right there. 23.56 So Roxas able to get that one to go. And as you see, Roxas had it initially, but then able to use the ground ball to get that right behind the net. And I think Lacella actually got out of the goal area, which opened up a hole for Cal to be able to score. Let's see if we can take another look at that one. It just looked like Lacella, when the ball was being deflected, she came out of her goal area, kind of the goal circle, and what she did, it opened up a hole, did she? Yep, she got right out, the ball got loose, got out the goal circle, and there's your score. And let's see if that's the momentum swing that the Golden Bears needed. As the possession goes away of the Golden Bears, so here we go, now down seven, trying to get a run of their own. And the ball's deflected, and it goes out of bounds. And because that wasn't a shot, the Buffs will take over. So just like that, you had a little bit of a momentum. You still were down, but you started to get a little momentum your way as Cahill will take it across midfield. And you're just not able to get another score once you get possession. Buffs up seven, 11 to four. Nice move. Great job defensively by the Golden Bears as well. Rock goes back into the hands of Rudy. Rudy goes to her right, and she's gonna shoot that one. Is that one in? It is in. You've gotta be kidding me. She has seven goals on the afternoon. Charlie Rudy, goal number seven on the day. And the dancing continues for the Colorado Buffaloes on a cold day in Boulder. And just take another look, using the pick, able to get the angle and shoot that one in. Charlie Rudy. Looked like Rudy went stick side, right over the stick of the backup goalkeeper, Lily Rathbun. Wasn't able to stop that one. And for Rudy, that's seven goals on the day. Her 23rd goal of the year. And the Buffs looked to get possession, but it's scooped up by the Golden Bears. Golden Bears down by eight. Largest lead of the day for the Buffs. By the way, you look at Rudy, she's been on a scoring streak in the five games this year. She scored two against Louisville, three against Vanderbilt, 
three against Denver, five against San Diego State, and three against Stanford. So this is nothing new for her, putting up some points on the board. As we have a whistle. And it looks like Zakara will have it. And it's the free position shot for the Golden Bears. And a shot by Mason Zipney up and good. So we profiled her before the game and only took a half and eight minutes to go or eight minutes into half number two and Quinlan Mason finally able to get on the board. Just a nice ground shot. Goes right between the legs of LaSella. And the Golden Bears get another tally on the board. Scores now 12 to five. Number 35, Quinlan Mason. By the way, for the Buffs, the record for goals in a game by one player is eight. And Rudy has seven. She also has 22 minutes to work with as well. She scored eight goals against Coastal Carolina last year. So she's pretty much trying to break her own record. There's plenty of time to do so as the Buffs have possession. And that's Phillips. Being guarded very closely, Phillips gives it to the star today, Charlie Rudy. Swings it to Grozer. 73 seconds on the shot clock. Just getting things started on this possession. Buffs up 12 to five. The score was three to three. The Buffs went on an eight to nothing run if you're just joining us. Phillips goes to her right, spins around. Nope, hands it off behind the cage. Not able to find a shot. Oh, an errant pass. And it's going to be scooped up by the Golden Bears. So nice job defensively, and that's what you have to do to get back in this one. If you're the Golden Bears, you got to take advantage of every mistake by the Buffs. Nice passing. Krillin the ball, got to be careful. Oh, what a nice play from behind. And what do we have? Looks to be, is this offsides? It will be offsides. Nope, it's going to stay the way of the Golden Bears. Excuse me, I thought it was offsides initially. But it's a foul that will stay the way of the Golden Bears. As we take another look at this play from behind, we'll take another look at it in a moment. Golden Bears down by seven. Directing traffic, looking for our angle is Mix. He already scored today as well. Now behind the cage, goes right into the middle. Okay, couldn't get a shot. Getting nice job guarded off actually. All the buffs. Just couldn't get a shot to, to go with Kubera. 58 seconds to go on the shot clock. Golden Bears have enough time if they're just patient and find those open holes. The Buffs doing a great job packing things in the middle. You got to move the ball around the perimeter. That's what they're doing, trying to find that hole, not able to get there. Here it comes. I thought there was going to be a shot, not a shot right there. Then we have a whistle. It looks like we're going to have a foul and a free possession shot, or we're going to have a yellow card. It's going to be a yellow card, and the Golden Bears will have the man advantage. Nikki Zaccaro was knocked down to the ground, and let's go and see if we can find what happened here. As I don't know about that one. Let's take another look if we can get another angle on that one. Not much arguing by Will Fall. But look to be a shot to the head of Zakaro. And they'll go with the man advantage. Bears need this one. They're down 12 to 5. Just creeps closer and closer to this game. Going to the right. Not able to find the angle. Patient passing. Buffs packing things in. And the ball is going to be deflected. It's scooped up. Here's an opportunity for the Bears. The shot is, is that a save? What do we have? We have the possession going away of the Buffs. So an opportunity for the Golden Bears to get a shot and a goal. Not able to get so as a nice save by Julia Lasella 
on the shot by Megan Mix, and here comes the Buffs. With under 20 minutes to go in half number two. CU looking for their third win of the year, their first conference win of the season. They're also looking to win their seventh straight over the Bears. Cal Golden Bears, they haven't won here in Boulder since the first year the program was in existence for the Buffs. That's back in 2014. That game was a 7-6 final. The next year, 2015, the Golden Bears were able to win at home in Berkeley. But ever since then, it's been all Buffs. The last meeting between these two teams, CU won that one 15-6. Buffs now up 12 to five. As Cal with the player advantage, and it looks like the Buffs are just gonna kill off the player advantage. 20 seconds on the shot clock, also 17 seconds with the player advantage. Buffs looking to make a move. Shorthanded, goes behind the cage. 10 seconds, a nice pass up front. Not able to get that one to go. Scooped up though, with plenty of time is Rudy. She gotta get something going now fast. Five seconds, four seconds. The pass, oh, misses right there. And that will be a shot clock violation. So a violation by the Buffs, but they were able to kill off the penalty as the Golden Bears take possession. Down seven with 18.20 to go. Nice job defensively by the Buffs, making it very tough to get the ball across midfield. All you got to do is get it to their straining line, and they finally do get it past that straining line. And now the Golden Bears can start up their offense. 60 seconds to go on the shot clock. Mason up top. And it looks like they're kind of playing this moving around and goes to the top. 40 seconds to go on the shot clock. Now behind the cage. Buffs with good defense. In front of the cage, couldn't get that one to go. Now to the high left side. 25 seconds to go on the shot clock. Got to get something to go. The shot is there and it's blocked away. The ball's on the ground, scooped up by the Buffs. What a nice save by Lacella yet again. Keeping the score 12 to five with 17 minutes to go. Rudy with seven goals in this game. The record, the program, or the school record I should say for the Buffs is eight. And Rudy, she set that record. Buffs taking their time, using up the clock with 16.25 to go. Now a nice dodge, here's Rudy, faking the pass, shoots that one, oh, it's blocked away. And the shot clock starts all over as the possession goes the way of the Golden Bears. So nice job defensively coming in. The backup goalkeeper, Lily Rathbun, able to get the stop there. And here come the Golden Bears. And they have numbers too if they want to run with it. Let's see if they will. Going all the way up front, the shot is blocked away. What a block by Julia Lacella. Holy cow. That was a point blank range shot by Lawless. Not able to get that one to go though. Let's take another look at that one as well. As you see Lawless able to get right down the meat of the defense and right there able to scoop it up. What a play by Lacella. She had 16 saves in the loss against Stanford. And she's staying hot as well. Halfway to go here at Kittredge Field in Boulder, Colorado as the Buffs lead 12 to five. Trying to get another tally on the board. Nice move being made. The shot is gonna be blocked away and the Golden Bears will have that one. Grozier couldn't get that one to go in. So after the first couple of goals went past Rathbun, 
She's been able to lock down the net. Bus have had a tough time getting anything past her as we'll have a whistle. And are we going to have a card? Yeah, we're going to have a yellow card. And immediately <laughs> running off <laughs> is Charlie Rudy. It's almost like, you know what, you caught me. It's like catching a kid with their hand in the candy jar. You caught me. I know what I did was wrong. Let me go and take my punishment. And for that, it'll be two minutes. Let's take another look at it as well. You got to remember, there's a spear on every player, so you don't want to aim for the head and neck area. And right there, that's exactly what happened. So with that, we'll have a timeout as well. It will score 12 to 5, butts on top of the California Golden Bears. Again, the Golden Bears looking for their first win in Boulder all the way back since 2014. But winning in Boulder is tough. As you take a look at the record, the Colorado Buffaloes all time at Kitchers Field, 38 and 11. How about just in Boulder in general, 42 and 12. Just shows you how difficult it is to get on a plane Get to Boulder, Colorado and get a W. And actually two years ago, the Buffs, they were undefeated at home. So it just makes it that much tougher. It shows you why they're able to win so many games. Again, coming into this game, Coach Elliott and Elliott is 43 and 14 in conference play. As we take a look at the preseason poll, the Buffs tied up with USC in the preseason poll. And you see right there at number six is Stanford. For Stanford, they're just a program looking to make steps to go in the right direction. And Coach Brooke Eubanks is doing just that. But it's going to take a little bit of time. But again, for her, she just wants to see her team compete, continue to get better every day. And on the opposite end for the Colorado Buffaloes, they have the talent to win the Pac-12. So far, they're 0-1 in conference play. And they're 14 minutes away from evening that up at one and one. But Cal took the timeout. And you better believe they're gonna come out with a plan right here, looking to cut it to this seven point lead. And they also have a man advantage. Again, one of the things that have hurt Cal this game though, it has been not executing offensively. Have to have Chris passing, throw the ball around the perimeter, and ever so often attack in the eight meter arc. So here we go. See if the Golden Bears can get one. Nice pressure being applied by the Buffs. Up at the top, swing it around, Mason. Mix. Try to go inside, can't find a, an area to pass it to. Zaccaro with a nice pass, it is picked off. And the Buffs have it, and they're going to hold on to possession as well, and they could pretty much, for the most part, run out this player advantage if they could get it into their own area, and they're able to do so. And now if you're Cal, you got to make a decision. Are you going to go and try to put pressure on the Buffs? Try to get the ball back? Or are you going to stay put? It looks like they're just going to stay put. So the Buffs are just going to continue to throw the ball around the perimeter. And it's almost like just practice a little bit. Golden Bears have already given up a short-handed goal today. Not trying to give up another one, especially with the score 12 to 5 with 13.40 to go. Forty seconds to go on the Charlie Rudy penalty. Twenty-five seconds on the shot clock, so the Buffs can't just hold on to the ball and run out the clock. They got to go and play a little offense, and they do so now. Phillips gets stopped, throws the ball back to the hands of Grozer. Grozer double team gives it back to Phillips. Top of the arc now goes to her right, being pushed off. Double team, goes behind the cage, nine seconds on the clock, gotta get something to go right here. Five seconds, four seconds, Grozier has it, spins around, can she get a shot? No, two, one, the shot, and it stops. What a stop there, yet again by Lily Rathbun. Tell you what, Rathbun, she gave up a couple of goals early on, 
But ever since then, she has been a stone wall and an errant pass yet again. And here comes the bus with possession. And they're going to give the ball right back. As is scooped up by the Golden Bears. And Cal got to get some points. They're down seven with 12.30 to go with half number two. As Mix takes the ball into the Golden Bears zone. Throw the ball around the perimeter. Now behind the cage. Look for somebody to cut down the middle of the arc. Not able to do so. One player that has been quiet is a player that we have profiled, Quinlan Mason. She only has one goal in the game. Mason only had one assist in a loss against Oregon in the last game. But before that, she had multiple goals in 11 straight games. Let's see if we get a goal right here. The shot right under, no. And that's no good on the shot by Kubera. And the Buffs will take possession. Let's take another look at that shot by Kubera, if we can get that in a bit. She had a point blank shot right in the middle of the arc, just not able to get that one to go in. And here comes the Buffs in the offensive zone, and they'll set things up. When you're right in the eight meter arc and you have point blank range, you try to do everything you can to get the ball through the net. And the shot by Kubera just missed as we approach 11 minutes to go in this one. Nice dodge, going to the outside. Passing that one off, the Buffs have that one behind the cage. A nice pass, and the shot is gonna be off the post. Holy cow, that one went off the post at point blank range. Let's take the... The Buffs had one at point blank range, could have made this one 13 to five. Zoe Lawless had everything she wanted. She just didn't have the tally. And here come the Golden Bears into the offensive zone. They got to get some points. See if they can score seven goals in 10 minutes. That's what we have left of this one. Golden Bears looking for their first win in their last four tries. Ball behind the cage. 40 seconds to go. You see that on the screen right there, 40 seconds. On the shot clock, got to get something going. A nice pass, a give and go. The ball's knocked down by the bus, scooped up there, bowl by the Golden Bears. Akaro has it. Swing it around. 20 seconds to go on the shot clock. Golden Bears got to get something to go right now. Behind the cage, 15 seconds on the shot clock. Mix with 10 seconds, looks to make a move, goes to the inside, the shot, and Lacella's right there to the save. As that one goes out of bounds, but the Golden Bears will still have possession. Being kind of the story of the day for the Golden Bears, they have 12 shots on goal but they're steering at the wrong side of a 12 to five game with not a way to go in this one. Buffs doing a great job defensively, just packing things in, making it tough for the Golden Bears to be able to get any type of open shot on net. Everything has been contested so far. 50 seconds to go on the shot clock. Still gotta be patient, plenty of time, but you gotta get something to go in a shot there. Just missed the cage. Miss that one, Maya Lawless. Couldn't get that one to fall and the Buffs have possession. What a nice save there by Lacella yet again as the Buffs have it into their offensive zone and they're gonna waste a little bit of clock here as well. Leedy 12 to five with 8.20 to go. watch your drive. On the left side, making a move. Already with three goals today, a nice pass. Couldn't get that one to connect though. On the errant pass. And here comes the Golden Bears. Actually, that was Bailey Hawkins with the pass right there. 7.50 to go. Go 
As we have 60 seconds on the shot clock, the Golden Bears trying to do everything they can, but they have been stonewalled so far. They have 12 shots on goal. And only able to get five in. Could they get six? No, that's another shot on goal and turned away yet again by Lacella. 13 shots on the afternoon. Only five have gotten past Lacella. And here come the Buffs with 7-10 to go. Man, what a move. That's <laughs> that what gets through. Talk about a move. Here comes the Buffs. Golden Bears looking to end a six-game losing streak to CU. Colorado looking to hold on. This is where they're trying to finish. They had a 9-7 lead over Stanford. And weren't able to finish with that one. They were up, and there goes a, there's a turnover. And with the clear, here comes the Golden Bears in transition. And they're able to scoop things up. They have numbers if they want to run, and they're going to do so in transition. Here they come. Nice dodge. Looking for an opening. Can't find anybody. Berger couldn't find anybody that she wanted. Now the Golden Bears will just take their time and they'll go and start up their offense. Ward gives it behind the cage. And here's 50 seconds on the shot clock. Imagine you got to get something to go. Here comes the Caro. She has a lot of speed. She goes to her right, and oh, she gets hit in the face, and that's going to be a foul. Oh, man, let's take another look at this one as Zaccaro gets hit hard, and that's going to be a free possession shot. Will fall. Hits Zaccaro right there, and here's an opportunity for the Golden Bears. Setting up on the hash. Here comes Zakaro, has one goal today. Can she get number two? The whistle blows, and she passes it off, and the shot is down on the ground and scooped up, and we're gonna have a foul. And that looks to be on the buffs. Let's go and take another look at it. As Zakaro's going in, she passes it off. Nice pass, and you just see, I don't know where that one was. Might have hit in the face. There's another free possession shot, and that was blocked away yet again by Lacella. But the Golden Bears, nope, the possession will go the way of the Buffs. Lacella yet again, another one that she has blocked away. Just turned away another shot. Has made things very tough for the Golden Bears, who they've struggled today to get possessions. And once they've gotten possessions, they've rarely had any scoring opportunity. And once they have, Lacella has been there with 10 stops today as we approach five minutes to go in half number two. Buffs looking for their first conference win of the year, and they even things up at three apiece. And an errant pass is knocked away, but scooped right back up by the Buffs. Got to be careful with that one. Burnside with the pass. Hawkins goes to her knees, digs right back up, goes to her right. Shoots that one, and it is a score. It was deflected by Lily Rathbun, but the momentum of the shot goes right through the goal crease and in, and the Buffs get another one. Take another look. Going down to her knee was Hawkins. She goes to her right and able to get that shot to go. Just a beautiful shot. As the Buffs now lead 13 to five with 4.35 to go in this one. Buffalo goal 4.35. So, for Hopkins, for Hopkins rather, that's her second goal of the year. And the Buffs lead 13 to five with 4.35 to go. We'll get another timeout. 
And with that, we'll stay right here. We'll take a look at the updated coaches poll. And obviously Stanford will be one of those teams that's in there as North Carolina, the top team in the land at it with a 9-0 record. Syracuse right there behind them at 5-0. Northwestern, 7-0. Boston College, 5-1. Notre Dame at 4-2. You look at number 17, you'll see the representative from the Pac-12. That's Stanford at 3-0. And, and also, let's take a Julia Lasella. If you look at a story for this, get the stop. And talking with Coach Ann Elliott just about the importance of LaSella, she said her leadership is huge and she is a difference maker. They got to bite back down to nine saves now, but you could clearly see how she has been a difference maker today with her nine saves. She's able to make things happen, able to keep the Golden Bears off the board. And there was a moment at the beginning of the second half where the momentum started to shift. The Buffs, they were up by six. They were able to get a couple of scores. Then the Golden Bears were slowly starting to creep their way back. But Julia Lasella slammed the door. And with that, you see the six-year senior going right back into the goal circle. As the Buffs are 435 away from their first conference win of the year. We're also going to have a new player taking the draw for the Buffs. Zoe McGanny is in the game. The freshman from Frisco, Texas. And we also have a new player taking the draw as well for the Golden Bears. Not quite seeing a number. As the whistle blows, and that's Kubera. And the Golden Bears, they'll have possession. Evans. And the pass is an errant one. It's going to go out of bounds, and the Buffs will have it. With 4.20 to go, the clock continues to run. And the Buffs going to take their sweet time getting across midfield and also get into their offensive zone to run more clock. With four minutes to go in this ball game. Colorado Buffaloes coming off a tough loss against Stanford, a game in which they led 9-7 to seven with five minutes to go, 9-8 to eight with a minute to go, had a turnover in their own zone, Stanford was able to go and get the ball, tie things up with 27 seconds left, and they were able to get the win as well in overtime. Buffs have lost both games in overtime this year, coming to this game with a two and three record, and they're 330 away from even up their record at three apiece. As running out of bounds is the Golden Bears. Berger ran out of bounds, and here come the Buffs. Ball coming center. Ten. Ten. With 3.10 on the clock, looking for the score. The shot's up and good. A laser off the stick of Bailey Hawkins. That's her second goal of the day. And the Buffs, they're going to win this one. They're up 14 to 5 with 3.07 to go. Hawkins. With the rope, that's her third goal of the year. She came into this game only with one goal. She'll leave this one with three on the day. Her third goal of the season, second of the day. And the score's 14 to five, 3.07 to go. Big day for the Colorado Buffaloes in several different sports as well. An NCAA tournament action in the round of 32. 
Fifth seeded Buffs look to get the upset against the fourth seeded Florida State Seminoles. And in the NIT, the Lady Buffs, they'll take on Old Miss. For Cal, they're gonna drop their fourth straight and drop to one and six on the year. 0 oh, and four in conference play. This game at one point was tied up at three apiece, but things changed as the Buffs went on an eight to nothing run. Charlie Rudy, the junior, scored seven goals in this one. And Ashley Stokes, she had three goals as well. As we have a whistle, the clock stops with 2.43 and actually possession will go the way of the Buffs. The day here in Boulder, Colorado started off frigid. As it was snowing in the morning, when I arrived at about 10.30, about three and a half hours before the game, as we'll have a foul, and we'll have a free possession shot. The snow was being cleared off the turf. Now a free possession shot for the Buffs. Look to go up 10. Zimmerman with the shot and gets it to go. Under the legs of Lily Rathbun, and the Buffs lead 10, 15 to five with two minutes to go. That also means we'll have a running clock. As we take another look, Zimmerman able to get that one to fall. Great job by her. And for her, that's her first goal of the year. Sydney Zimmerman, the 5'6 freshman from Roxford, Michigan. And now we'll have a running clock because of the goal differential. And hugs all the way around for Zimmerman. So you see all smiles with Zimmerman. She gets a lot of hugs from her teammates. And the clock will continue to run. Again, the Buffs, they're gonna to improve to three and three on a year. The Golden Bears will fall to one and six. For the Golden Bears, there's some easily, easy things they could correct. And one of the things would be winning these draws just like that. The next thing will be continue to have the crisp passing. It's a talented team that's going in the right direction. Just gotta to continue to make things work continue to play hard, and continue to love the game of lacrosse. But the Buffs, they'll go away with this one. With 25 seconds to go, and we have a whistle as the clock continues to go, and what do we have? A yellow card. Looks to be a slash, and that will be on the Golden Bears. Foul on the near. So the clock will stop with 17 seconds. Yellow card is just to the Golden Bears. Two minutes. So two minutes on Lanier. 17 seconds on the clock. Let's see if the Buffs will try to score with the advantage, up by 10. They'll pass the ball around. Tough defense now, and there's a push there. As the clock continues to go, five seconds, four seconds, and the clock's just gonna run out. And that will do it. The Colorado Buffaloes get back on the right side of things as they're able to win at home. Final score, 15 to five over the California Golden Bears. With the win, the Buffs improved to three and three on the year, one and one in conference play, and they have now won seven games in a row over the Golden Bears.
the Colorado Buffaloes, their next game, they will take on USC. That will be at USC. That will be a 5 o'clock start on Friday. But on the opposite end for the California Golden Bears, they're on a four-game losing streak. But the player of the game has to go eight. Did that against Coastal Carolina. She'll have to settle for seven here as the Buffs get the W. Final score, 15 to five. On the opposite end for the California Golden Bears, they fall to one and six on the year, 0 and four in conference play. The Golden Bears, they will continue their three game road trip as the next game will be up against Stanford. That'll be on Friday and that'll be a four o'clock start as you see on the final stats there. The Buffs outshot the Golden Bears by six and were able to get a W by 10 right here. So for everyone here, out at the Pac-12 Network, once again, our final score is 15 to 5 as you've been watching a presentation of Pac-12 Networks. Good afternoon, everyone, and coming up next, more Pac-12 lacrosse or